I'll be quite honest with you, just like my sex life, this video is going to disappoint and depress a lot of people. Why, hello there, listen, if you're dreaming about moving to Thailand and you need to get a job, you have to support yourself financially by earning income today, tomorrow, and the next day, guys, I'm going to tell you something. Thailand is a very hard place for you. If you are thinking about coming here to try and get a job, it's next to impossible. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. Most jobs here are protected for the local people. So if there's a job that a local person can do, you're not going to be able to get it. Unless you're a highly skilled, specific worker, you are not going to be able to come here and find employment easily. It is very difficult. That being said, a lot of guys do come here and work as English teachers, but you need to understand, you have to have a university degree or a community college slash, you know, comparative degree to be able to come here and teach English. You can't just go and get your TAFL, your TASL certifications and be a teacher here. There are some companies that will work around stuff like that and, you know, they'll manipulate this, but the salaries there, guys, they're not great. Even people with university degrees are only making between 30, 40,000 baht a month. Some guys, you know, are lucky enough that are in administration, et cetera, et cetera, at some really high end schools are making between 50 and 80,000 baht, which is, again, that's not a lot of money, guys. That's... That's 1500 to 2500 US dollars. So if you're hoping to come here and, you know, live this extravagant life having a job, it's very hard. So what can you do? Well, you can come and start your own business. And in Thailand, the government has made it a little bit easier for foreigners to come and start businesses. So what can you do here? Well, I'm going to tell you five things that a lot of people come here and try. Three of them, you know what? Yeah, you could give them a shot. One I definitely wouldn't. And then there's one thing that the doctor highly recommends you trying. So let's just jump right in. Number one on the list, guys, quite honestly, is bars. There's so many guys that come here and open bars. They buy bars. They lease them. They rent them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can get a commercial visa. However, unless you have experience owning and operating a bar and trust me as a former bar owner i'm just being straight up with you guys it is very difficult to succeed in the bar business no matter where you are in the world but if you're coming to thailand and you think you're going to start a bar because you enjoy company you enjoy talking to people you know you like to have drinks with people you're probably going to fail because if you are your number one customer yeah, it's going to be hard for you to manage the bar, run the bar, make any money from it whatsoever. Yes, people will come, but most likely you're going to start buying them drinks and stuff because they become your friends. And when it comes to business, profits and revenue, there's no such thing as friends. And the bar business here is really, really hard. Not only that, you get a lot of guys that come here and they start these bars because they think that they're going to be like some pervy playground for them and they start picking these girls that they want to sleep with to get to work at the bar and these girls will take advantage of you so fast that it's it's crazy i mean i've talked about bar girls ad nauseum and uh, i'm not going to go down that road here in this video but trust me when i say this the guys that are opening the bars and well Again, using it as their own private playground, they're, they're failing within 6 to 12 months, okay? I've seen so many guys come here, open bars, start bars, and I've not seen one successful bar owner, okay? I have met some guys, you know, that have been here for years and, you know, they're doing okay. But the guys that are coming right now, putting their life savings into these bars, they're, they're losing it in 6 to 12 months because most of them have no experience, they have no discipline, and uh, they can't control themselves. I, I hate to say it, so can you open a bar here? Yes, you can. Should you? I really don't know. I know this much. I probably would be a horrific bar owner here in Thailand because I enjoy... I enjoy giving people drinks, buying people drinks, and the socializing. And I will say this much. If you're a social drinker, 
owning a bar in Thailand is probably not the greatest idea for you um, because you will be drinking a lot. People will be buying you drinks and then it will spiral out of control like most things do in life and you'll start giving out drinks for free, etc., etc. Not only that, you'll be drinking most of your stock, most of your inventory. It, it, it's, it's the truth. So can you be a bar owner? Yes, it's pretty easy and uh, expensive, dangerous, and not, uh, not high on my list of things that are going to be successful for you. Now, along with the bars, also right now, because of the new laws concerning cannabis, weed shops are very popular. I do know several foreigners that have come here and opened weed shops. And right now, the government is giving a subsidy for a lot of weed shops so that the rents are lower, et cetera, et cetera, because they're trying to grow this you know, industry for tourism. And it's not working out really well, okay? I know guys that have come here, opened up weed shops, and they're they're not even making enough money to pay the subsidized rent. Now, there are spots like Knockout Labs over in Aonang, which is where I'm at right now. Tom Birchy has done really well with his uh, cannabis shop as well as his Kratom business, but he is marketing it on Instagram and TikTok every single day, several times a day, and it's more marketing than it is product, if you know what I mean. Yes, I understand they have good product there. Um, I'm not a smoker, so I don't know, but I've heard some fantastic reviews on his uh, cauliflower or no broccoli. That's what he likes to call it. Um, anyways, it's, uh, it's a hard business. And I will say this much. Once the subsidies dry up, a lot of these shops are going to be closing. So if you're coming here and you want to try a weed shop, definitely do it. But uh, the old adage, don't get high off your own supply. Yeah, every single weed shop owner I know is stoned out of their minds all day long. And uh, they really need somebody to help them do the books, do the, you know, make sure that everything's in line. And I'll tell you something, guys, the weed shops, yes, you can make a little bit of money at them right now. But uh, you're not going to uh, you're not going to be making a fortune unless you are smart enough to market it yourself, such as Tom is with his girlfriend Ellie there here in Aonang. Okay. Construction, land development, real estate. As a former realtor, I will say this much: if I came to Thailand, I would. If it was 20 years ago, I would look into buying a Century 21 franchise because the real estate agents here are lazy as. Now, that being said, it would be very difficult for you to hire agents to work for you because, uh, again, they are lazy as. They don't seem to want to do anything. Um, they don't reply to messages. They don't get back to you. However, if you were a driven realtor who wanted to make money, this place is wide open for you. You could make an absolute fortune down here working with foreigners. And I would get into some property development. However, property development, and what I mean by that, guys, is get a plot of land, start building some villas for foreigners. You can make a crap ton of money with that, no question at all. But it takes really, really deep pockets. And I mean, if you're an older guy like me, most likely if your pockets are that deep, you don't want to be working. If you're a younger guy and you have the capital, yes, you can come to Thailand and do extremely well, at least down here in the big tourist areas where guys like to retire and stuff. Um, you can do a lot of business catering to foreigners that are looking for upscale villas and stuff like this. You, you really can. I mean, this place is full of them and they're selling them all the time. They, they are. So yeah, property development, but you would need a lot of capital to get into it. Real estate sales and stuff like this. And I'm not talking about coming here and trying that bullshit air and be arbitrage thing because that is not going to work here it's simply there's way too much inventory on the market for you to think that you're going to go and rent a place and start doing it on a night it's guys that that's that's crap it's, it's not going to happen actual real estate sales as a licensed realtor broker slash agent yes you could you could do really well if you 
were one of those guys like me that had absolutely zero life and did nothing but work all the time. Working all the time here, though, wouldn't be that bad because you get to blast around in your scooter. You're going to uh, be in this. Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad being a real estate agent here. But definitely property development. If you have the funds, the capital and the knowledge to do it, you can do quite well. Keep in mind, though, this is a business that you're going to have to be working with the government. You're going to have to be working with different suppliers and stuff like this. So you need a very good grasp on the regulations, the industry, and you're going to have to find a partner that you can trust who speaks Thai because I will say this much. I've been here for three years and I've met very few foreigners. I've met a couple, but very, very few who are fluent enough to be able to have an intelligent safe business conversation okay so keep that in mind now i do know some people absolutely crazy people that come here and try to become youtubers social media experts influencers digital nomads whatever you want to call them yes there is a digital nomad visa here in thailand that you can apply for but i'm going to tell you this much okay don't even think about being a YouTuber. I've talked to a lot of guys that are like, oh, you know what, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna do this, I got an idea for that, blah, 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 blah. Man, unless you get lucky, and I have said it a 100 times in my videos, the only reason my subscribership has grown the way it has is because of that one video. How much does a Thai girlfriend cost? If it wasn't for that, I'd still be probably around 1,000, 1,200 subscribers. And I'm going to tell you something. Do a Google search and see how hard it is. Look at the minuscule numbers of people who actually get monetized as a YouTuber, TikToker, whatever, okay? It is extremely hard. Now, along those lines is, yes, the digital nomad who are here, they're freelance work, they're doing Google ads and stuff. Man, that's a struggle too. It really is. Um, you could become a photography expert, video production, stuff like this. But again, that's a skill that if you don't have, good luck learning it, okay? Because I'm three years into this experiment and my editing still sucks. Um, it's hard, man. It really is. Also, I know some guys that are here running photography and video production companies. And they're struggling really, really hard because... They put all the experience in, they put all the effort in, they learned everything, and they have this idea that they're worth this, yet there's all kinds of Thai guys here, Thai companies that do incredible work, and their costs are down here, and guess what? People are going to, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So you have to remember that just because you have a certain skill set that pays you this amount of money back home, it's not going to pay you that here. And while we're on the subject getting paid, YouTube doesn't, <laughs> it's, man, if you're, honestly, if you're thinking about coming to Thailand, starting a YouTube feet on the ground running when you get here, good luck. That's all I'm going to say. Good luck. I finally make enough money that I can support myself on a monthly basis through YouTube, but that's because I get AdSense money, I get sponsorship money, and I get uh, buy me a beer money is fantastic because you wouldn't believe how many people buy me a beer. Um, I will admit, guys, what I'm doing with that money now is I'm donating it to different uh, charities here, Elephant Places, Monkey Places, because uh, if I drank that much beer... Man, I'd be off the rails in a hurry. Yeah, I would be. So that, guys, three things that you can do. One thing that I definitely don't recommend. So what would the good doctor recommend as a business here in Thailand that you could make money at, you could get a visa, and you'd have fun doing? Well, here's exactly what I would do, guys. I would go into the tourism industry here. And I don't mean I would become a simple travel agent. No, 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 no. What I would do is I would find something that works towards a passion that I have, and I would market that as a tour to people. So I love street food. I would go and come here, spend about a year learning as much as I can about street food, finding the different markets, learning the people that are at the markets, and taking people 
on guided street food adventures here in Thailand. And I would market it on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, any place I possibly could where people are watching stuff about Thailand. And I will tell you this much, the number of viewers for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube about Thailand, it's astronomical how many people want to come here. And if you were marketing yourself as an expert for say street food tours, people would love that because they can communicate with you, they can understand you, they'll have a great time, and you'll have a blast doing it because you're doing something that you love. That being said, you know, you could do temple tours, you could do island tours, you could do anything, but you have to have a passion for it. Keep in mind, if you're a devout Christian, you're probably not going to enjoy doing temple tours, okay? If you're a vegan, street food tours are probably not gonna be the best idea for you because there's a lot of meat on the street. And I'm not talking about the girls, guys. I'm talking about the actual street meat. It uh, Most of it is meat. So you have to find something that you're passionate about. Yes, I understand earlier when I was talking about the photography and stuff like that, people have an incredible passion for it. And a lot of people are skilled beyond belief, but you have to remember the market that you're in, okay? Labor here is really, really cheap, and you can get guys that will make videos for you, they'll do photography for you, really, really cheap. And uh, if you're expecting to make similar dollars to what you're making back home, or euros, whatever, pounds, you're gonna struggle here mightily. And uh, you don't wanna come to Thailand and struggle, guys, because it is, uh, it's a recipe for disaster and depression and uh, it's definitely not gonna help you live your best life. And you know me, I'm all about helping you live your best life. And one way you can do it is yes, come to Thailand and start your own business. But please understand, in doing so, you have to know everything that you possibly can, do your due diligence, and talk to a professional visa company to find out whether or not your idea for a business is going to get you a visa. Do not listen to guys like me on TikTok, talking heads, influencers, YouTubers, whatever, about visa advice, because 99% of us know all about them. We talk about them, but we really don't know. And most government officials don't understand the visas. There are some visa company specialists here that can help you, and that's definitely what you want to do, especially if you're coming here and buying a business, investing in a business with a lot of your savings because you don't want to lose your life savings, guys, on bad advice. And I've seen it happen so often. I've seen so many people come here and fail because they're not prepared, they're not doing their due diligence, and uh, if that doesn't get them, their demons definitely do. So again, don't get high off your own supply. Don't be your best customer. And uh, if you're gonna be a bar owner, it's not your own pervy little playground, guys, okay? Um, unless you have tons of cash and then, well, who gives it? Do whatever you wanna do, live your best life. I'm living my best life. I've been a little uh, slack getting some videos out, but uh, I'll explain that in my next video, I promise you. It's all about being frustrated as here in Thailand and uh, why I might have to leave. Yeah, I'm actually honestly thinking about leaving. But you'll have to check in next video to, uh, to find out why and uh, when and where. Until next time, guys, I am trying my hardest to live my best life because I only have one and living anything less than the best, you know it. Till next time, guys, cheers. Thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this, please hit the uh, subscribe. Give me a comment, give me a like, and uh, beers on me next time you're in Thailand. Cheers.